Hello everyone, I am myself Dr. Deepthi Karya, I am the PhD Physiology and your educator for Physiology. Today we will discuss about gastric function test. Before starting my class, I would like to inform you all that you will get all my notes in soft copy as well as hard copy. For soft copy, you have to download the application Vesalius uh, and subscribe for the same and for hard copy, you have to uh, purchase a book, my book Physiology Notes that is available on Flipkart as well as on Amazon. Okay. Uh, so let us start our today's topic that is gastric function test may be asked in practical as well as theory. Now starting with which are the indications for gastric function test. Okay, Gastric function test that is required to let me uh -huh, that is required to check the adequacy of gastric secretion whether our gastric secretion is adequate or not. It is used to diagnose certain syndrome Zollinger Ellison syndrome that is uh, in that, that is gastrin secreting tumor is there which secretes HCL and gastrin secretion and basal acid output increases more than 15 to 150 millimoles per hour. And it is also used to diagnose peptic ulcer uh, in which basal acid output increases, maximum acid output, peak acid output both are increased. Also it is used for evaluation of the patient after treatment for the peptic ulcer. Also, it is used to check the completeness of vagal, uh, vagotomy, okay, and also to diagnose pernicious anemia and gastric carcinoma. Now, which are the tests we are commonly performing? That is fractional mill test 1, histamine test. I am just enumerating, then we will discuss one by one. Then augmented histamine test, pentagastrin test, insulin test, plain radiography, barium mill study. We are estimating blood and urine pepsinogen level, intrinsic factor secretion, gastrin level, urea, breath test, and endoscopic examination and biopsy. Now, starting with first one, that is fractional mill test. Here, what we are supposed to do is, subject is intubated, means rice tube is introduced, okay? And uh, subject is asked to do overnight fasting or fasting at least for 8 hours. And after that, in the morning, rice tube is introduced and uh, this is a plastic tube and uh, gastric juice that is collected this is nasogastric tube and that is made up of soft plastic material with two millimeter diameter okay and uh, stomach uh, uh, that is inserted through nose into the stomach and fasting gastric gastric juice that is aspirated and after aspiration of gastric juice stomach is washed with distilled water after that uh, we have to give oatmeal gruel that is a standard test meal that is given for 200 ml of oatmeal gruel or dry toast and cup of tea or wheat biscuit and 300 ml of water that is allowed to swallow and 10 ml of gastric contains they are aspirated at the regular interval of 15 minutes okay this is to be done for three hours until the stomach is completely empty okay now, another thing is uh, each sample that is examined to determine free and total acidity as well as uh, we also test for the starch presence, presence of starch, sugar and mucus. Now, fractional milk test, uh, what we are supposed to get normal finding free HCL. In fasting condition, free HCL is 10 to 20, 30 ml percentage. After test meal, when we are giving, you can see here, this is the fasting one. After we give test meal, what happens? HCL secretion decreases because it gets diluted by the food. Okay, and after that it reaches to maximum 40 to 60 ml percentage. Okay. So this is free HCL, then combined HCL, that is combined acidity, HCL plus proteins plus mucus, that is normal value that is 10 to 25 ml, sorry here, percentage, okay, and that decreases in hypochlorhydria and absent in achlorhydria. Another total chloride, free HCL plus combined HCL plus inorganic chloride, uh, as well as starch and sugar, they are also, that presence also indicates that stomach is completely emptied. Uh, and uh, normally they are found in 10th or 11th sample, okay. Uh, fractional test meal, we are also uh, taking uh, consideration of the presence of bile. Bile is present if there is regurgitation. Blood is present in ulcer as well as in carcinoma. Lactic acid is present uh, uh, as it forms fermentation of the carbohydrates. And therefore free HCL decreases and lactic acid increases. Mucus is also present if there is irritation, okay. Pepsin is present which indicates functional condition of the peptic cells. And uh, uh, another uh, another important thing nowadays this fractional test meal is not norm, uh, commonly used because uh, of its insensitivity and inconvenience and other reliable tests are available. Second is histamine test. Here in histamine test, uh, 
comparatively this is uh, more sensitive rather than fractional meal test why because here we are giving histamine that stimulates the acid secretion okay powerful stimulation of acid secretion and due to histamine injection acid level increases rapidly and therefore there is no time for the neutralization of acid uh, procedure here same thing after overnight fasting stomach is aspirated washed with the distilled water but after that you have to give 0.5 milligram of histamine that is injected subcutaneously and after that gastric samples they are aspirated and analyzed here no free acid is found in any sample that shows true a chlorhydria or you can say that histamine test a chlorhydria the next is augmented histamine test here you can see specific dose of uh, histamine and its relationship or response between the uh, histamine and gastric juice secretion that is uh, to be measured and here stepwise increase we are increasing the dose of histamine and so that we are stimulating the parietal cells and as parietal cells are stimulated we get the maximum response and response with the total number of parietal response uh, that is equal to total number of parietal cells which are active. Next is pentagastrin test. Here, this is the test to assess gastric acid secretion. Same thing here, same as histamine, but the thing here is we, instead of histamine, we are injecting pentagastrin. This uh, pentagastrin that is uh, synthetic analog of the gastrin, okay? And uh, instead of histamine, you can inject pentagastrin subcutaneously. Here also basic basal acid output that is uh, 10 milli equivalents per hour milli equivalents and maximum acid output that is 27 milli equivalents per hour. Then insulin test here what we do is we are injecting insulin 7 units of insulin is given intravenously and when insulin is given what happens there is hypoglycemia and when hypoglycemia is there it stimulates vagus nerve. And as vagus is stimulation, stimulated, acid secretion increases, okay? So here we are stimulating the vagus now and increases acid secretion, okay? And acid secretion that occurs after insulin if your vagus now is intact, okay? So if there is vagotomy, you, have, you can do this test to check that whether vagotomy is performed properly or not, okay? Because after a vagotomy, if you are injecting insulin, it should not stimulate your gastric secretion, okay? And if your vagotomy is not done properly, this test is negative. Next test that is plain radiography. You can see here this is a great value in case of perforation, in case of peptic ulcer, either it gets perforated, okay, gastric or duodenal ulcer. Okay, here uh, either plain radiographs are taken or other tests that is barium meal study, that is radiographic evaluation of the status of the mucosa after uh, we are asking the subject to swallow barium meal. So here procedure is ask the subject to swallow suspension of radio opaque barium sulfate and uh, after that its passage that is observed on serial x-rays are taken okay so we can get this kind of uh, findings if there is gastric ulcer we can find that barium filled ulcer crater that is there that is because of distortion of the mucosal pattern that is also localized spasm you can see here increase in the rugae formation rugosity of the mucosa increases that is increase in the peristaltic waves and if there is gastric carcinoma, you find two things in early stages, there is feeling defects, certain areas of the stomach they are not feel because of the presence of the tumor. And second, that is in later stages, uh, the person having our glass appearance, okay. Uh, These two are the characteristic features of gastric carcinoma. And then uh, another is estimation of blood and urine pepsinogen. Here normal pl uh, plasma pepsinogen level that is 200 to 400 units per ml blood and urine pepsinogen decreases in the patient with gastrectomy if the stomach is removed that parietal cells are not there and there is decrease in the pepsinogen secretion okay De decrease in the plasma in absence of the uh, this gas in absence of the stomach okay uh, another is intrinsic factor secretion commonly this is found in case of pernicious anemia and this is estimated by immunological assay and uh, if there is uh, ulcer gastric ulcer also or carcinoma this is reduced then serum gastrin. The serum gastrin that is also estimated by radio immunoassay. Normal value of serum gastrin that is less than 10 picomoles per liter or 200 nanograms per liter. And it should never be above 50 picomoles per liter. And in Zollinger Ellison syndrome, this may be more than 100 picomoles per liter. Another is urea breath test. Here, gastric ulcer is when it gets perforated. Gastric ulcer, as we have discussed, peptic ulcer, common cause that is 
helicobacter pylori infection when this uh, helicobacter pylori produce uh, or they, they that infection that results in because this bacteria they produce ammonia in presence of urea so that they can uh, this uh, this urea that comes out and that is found in the breathing okay so that is urea breath test another test that is endoscopic examination and biopsy here endoscope that is the instrument which is introduced through mouth you can see here and the area of the stomach or esophagus or intestine that is directly visualized okay here this is more reliable as well as convenient method rather than varium meal study also so commonly used nowadays that is endoscopic examination and if there is a uh, sus suspicious growth a malignancy then one can take the biopsy also after endoscopic examination okay you can see here this is the view of endoscopic examination of the stomach so this is all about gastric function test uh, again i would like to inform you that you can get all my notes in soft copy and hard copy for soft copy you have to download the application basilius and for hard copy uh, you have to order my book that is physiology notes which is available on flipkart and amazon okay thank you so much thanks for watching if you like my video you can like it you can share it with all your friends and subscribe my channel thank you